That's something you don't see poking out the grass every day, isn't it? <laughs> I know a few guys in England that would. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Let's leave it as that, Wayne. Come on. Wash your mouth out. So guys, welcome back to the channel. Touching down from May Rim in Chiang Mai. We're about 30 kilometers north of Chiang Mai city. And today we're getting a little bit saucy. We're getting a little bit under the covers. We come to a special, special garden. This garden is a little bit sexy, a little bit horny. <laughs> so yeah, I've, I've spotted this place online and I've not seen much about it. And we're at the Erotic Gardens. Um, I've had a word with the owner and she's going to meet me and we're going to have a detailed tour. Well, whatever time she's got to show us around. So that's going to be really cool, man. This is it, the Erotic Gardens. Um, there's a tea house as well. It's 200 baht per person, discounted from 300 baht. And Kat Katai is the name of the garden tour. She's not available, but I've spoke to her on the phone and she's going to come back and see me. So I've just turned up now about 10.30 a.m. in the morning and she said she's going to get here about, you know, in the next 10 minutes. And she's going to show us around a little bit. And I thought that would be better than me just going around and showing you. Hopefully we can have the boss telling us a bit of a story on the place. And that's, that's going to make the vlog a lot better, isn't it? I've seen a few, few bellends, <laughs> a few bellends here. I know a few bellends. It's a few, it's a few troll bellends on YouTube, isn't there? How about one of these water features in your garden? <laughs> yeah, cool, man. See, I never thought I would come across anything like this in in Thailand, really. Um, I'm going to ask her about it, and um, does she get any grief from? from the locals about having all this sexy erotic artwork in her garden. Beautiful, it took me about 30 minutes to get here. 30 minutes, the roads, the main roads pretty, pretty crazy in the mornings, but once you get out these back roads, it's really nice. So she's on TripAdvisor, she's got lots of good reviews. Wow, this is her house, I think, isn't it? Erotic garden. Oh, this is the reception and the coffee, coffee place. This is the logo here. It's on the road. It's on the road for the last 10 kilometers saying erotic garden and tea house is, you know, so-and-so kilometers away. That's nice. She's even got the ornaments, look. <laughs> Look at that one. Wow, you can get you can get the candles, you can get your willy candles. I mean is she gonna be an erotic lady herself? <laughs> or is it just a business and something she's just fought up? So we're gonna have a good look around. The erotic gardens in Chiang Mai. Thank you. 
So guys, we are here at the Erotic Garden and I've met Katai. Yes. She's the owner of this business and this property. This is her house. Um, like I said in the beginning, I, I phoned Katai this morning and I, I wanted to phone to see that it would be open and I wanted Katai to you know, show me around and tell me a little bit about this place. Uh, uh, tell us about this place. And yes, yeah, she's kindly agreed. So Katai, this this is your business and My you have been open business. how long now? Seven years. Seven years. Yeah. As this and you have lived here all your life, this house. No, actually is my family lived in Australia. Okay. We live in Canberra. Canberra. It's just because of the erotic garden project, I have to come back. Right. Actually I already bought I have this land for uh, 15 years. 15 years. Yes, but right. the idea of our erotic garden doesn't happen, let's yeah. say, seven, eight years. Um, yeah. That's my next question. What? How did you get this idea of an erotic garden in the north of Thailand? Well, well, I think that is the <laughs> most popular question yes. from all the people who step in here and you sure. are this question. Uh, first thing I decided to, why have to be in Chiang Mai? Chiang Mai yes. is a beautiful area, beautiful sure. place, you know, and that's what I have this land for 15 years. And uh, what is inspiring me, that is what I really mean, right? Yes. A, I mean, you must be an erotic type <laughs> of person. I think it's my vision is right. the most important, you know, because I start to see things around me when I was a, a kid already, you know, because I, I see things, it's not like a, I see things, I speak out for my mind and even mom, my mom think I'm not normal. Right. Okay. <laughs> At that time, I, I wouldn't know what that mean, not normal, right. you know. When you was really Yes, young. I think under 10. Okay. Yeah, I think eight, nine. Yes, right. at that time. Talking about sexual stuff. I'm, I, I'm sitting like that. I used to tell mom like that. Grandma Titi is look like a green papaya. Right. You know? okay. And mom said, oh no, no, you shouldn't see that. You shouldn't say that, you know. Yes. I don't know what can be seen in there. Yes. This is my vision already lead me okay. into So something. you always have this sort of idea in your head? Oh, yes, when yes. you lived here, about starting this erotic garden. Always oh, in the back of my mind about this, you know. Okay. But just come to one day, I think I should make it happen. Yeah. Like that, I should Good. allow myself to express and make them out. Yes. Erotic garden cannot really happen without my support, is my husband, and also my team. Because erotic garden happen is just the, uh, because it's my idea, right. but I commissioned the student from our school or around Chiang Mai. Okay. The age from 18 to 22, like the first year of university and the last year of yeah. university. Yeah, I was going to say, because how did you get all the sculptures? How, how were they? The sculpture is come from my idea and we have a meeting with the student. And then we are told what is I want in this sculpture, and so, from there. So the students at the university all made these sculptures you have. Yes, yes.
so we've just moved out into the garden mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit better out here for a chat I think yes. <laughs> um, yeah and I was just gonna ask Katai about um, build, building this place how how long did it take okay this area is was the house is what a chicken farm a chicken farm yes and I had to fill up all uh, the dirt and uh, you know over 700 trucks of okay. dirt in so here. So you was a chicken farmer before? Yes, that's right. It's some area, it's like a swamp and this. Okay. And then later on, uh, when I decided to have a lot of garden and we just, I had to think, oh, because the land is flat land. And yes. how can we make it, you know, to more like a mystery, you know, and yes. I was curious about this. <laughs> but this is another thing, is I'm so lucky I had the uh, Landscaping company called Nongnut Garden. Okay. It's a world class because they've been Chelsea far which a number of wow. times. It's yeah. a world class. I can and see already yeah. that it's well maintained. That, that's right. And uh, of course, I got the, uh, the team from Nongnut and then part of my idea, we working together. Okay. And you have a team still here now taking care uh, of I have the grounds? Uh, yes, every day. I still use the company, not just doing the, the landscape, they also take care of the garden okay. every month. Right. Yes, and I yeah. have a permanent gardener, it's two people. Okay. Yeah. So you don't touch the main maintenance of the garden, you just do the tours and meet no, and greet? No, for me, it's every day I walk and know what is, I have to be... Right, so you will walk yeah. around and yeah, yes. clean up and... Help them, things. whatever, you know, because I love the garden yes. myself. I love okay. garden, that's what I decided to have the garden more than I have the gallery. How, how did this place come across to the people that live here and did you have any people mm. fighting against having this in the area? Okay, the, uh, the wooden uh, work in here, as you can see, many as uh, the symbol of bollocks. Yes, yeah. Is, uh, it's a wood, it's being carved by the local. Right. By the people from our village. Okay. They actually didn't have idea what I'm doing, oh, so but they don't know this is going to be erotic. Huh? Right. So that was a bit of a shock when you tell them uh, the plans. <laughs> uh, and no, because actually they're okay because it's, it's, uh, it's a part of our culture as well. But when it's come on the news, yes. this is something. It's different, yeah. because we have a statues, we have a different thing, not just wood, you yeah. know, not just uh, phallic wood in yes. here. So, yeah, how did Chiang Mai take Reacting. it on the media and they okay. tried to stop you making this place? Or? Oh, well, it's, uh, when you talk about the media, with the foreign media, foreign media, you know, mm. They they okay because they're familiar. Yes. But for the Thai media, they are curious about what's going on. Yeah. And I believe it probably they must think about what what kind of that person is come up with the theme. Yeah. Like right. This, yes. You know, and of course it's a big question: it who own that male, female, yeah, and foreigner or not to <laughs> yeah. come up with the idea like yeah. this as well. Okay. But so far, it's a good, I think, time is to prove what I'm doing. Right. I don't need to say much at all. No. <laughs> yes. And, and yeah, nobody say nothing no more, it's just normal. The police even came here. All right. To inspect about this okay. place. They had a good look around. <laughs> of course they do. We do go on tour, you know, have fun, <laughs> yeah. making jokes out from that. Yes. Anyway. Because it's uh, my theme of the garden, I want people to come and feel relaxed, open-minded about your, themselves, you know. Mm -hmm.
So guys, I really enjoyed walking around and and Katai said she had the let Russell Howard TV presenter from England. He came here and done a program. And I'm gonna go home and look for this program and I will link it down below if I can find it. Russell Howard, famous for all us UK TV watchers. And there's Russell Howard. Stood out in the garden where I was next to the lady coming out of the wall. So I'm going to look forward to finding that on YouTube later, hopefully. Russell Howard wasn't one of my favourite presenters, but there he is, look. He's happy in Northern Thailand. <laughs> and this is some of the newspaper write-ups the erotic garden have had. Sunday paper, March 2016, and it's in English. It tells the story. Maybe I can find this. Oh, this is one of your books. No, that is Italian. Okay. But that is the last year, the year 2000. Uh, right. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm representing Oh, cool. This is your garden? Yes. Wow. Garden. So the erotic garden is in, in an actual Italian garden book. She's got write-ups on the wall and interviews and celebrities have been here. The garden is in all these books, look. Another write-up from a book, City Life. Telling everything about the garden. And over here, look, we got another another interview by the looks of it. Katai Erotic Garden and Tea House pushes the boundaries of its sculptures. Look, get lots of lots of tourists here. Lots of people. Looks like people do some yoga here as well. So how's about that then? We had a, had a little interview with Katai, the owner. She had to cut the interview short because she's got customers here that want to see her. So it is smaller than what I was expecting, but it's well worth a visit. If you're in Chiang Mai or around Mayrim, come in, come and have a laugh, come in, have a good look around. It's, it's not all about having a laugh, but you can come here, do some selfies and you know, have a have an hour or two. And Katai is a really good host. She would have been showing us around, but it, because it's not massive, I thought like it was gonna be massive and she could show us around all, all the different statues. But yeah, it's, you know, you can have a good look around yourself and it's, yeah, it's good, it's good. It's well worth checking out. I wanna walk up there, but I don't want to be walking on the grass, really. Ah, that'd be nice in your garden, eh? Nice set of thighs. Let's just see what's out here. So they're building something here, yeah, lake. It's very quiet around this area. So there's not a lot, it's all fields, mountain. Look what they got for the toilets. There's no man or woman sign. It's just this for the man's. <laughs> Even the coat hangers look. The coat hanger is a big, big stonker. <laughs> I just want to see if what's the girl's one. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool man, I like it. It's fun, right? Funny. So that's it guys. I've had a great morning here. I ended up sitting down with the owner and just chatting she gave me a coffee and some biscuits and a bit of fruit <laughs> and she was showing me all all the erotic stuff you can buy in there you can buy candles ornaments books and i think it's cool what she's doing man i really do she's a really nice woman as well she's not like you know this 
you know, over the top woman. She's just a family woman, three kids, married, doing a doing a different style of business in Thailand. And it's all done elegantly, don't you think? That garden was immaculate and all the sculptures, nothing was below the belt, I don't think. It was just, it was art. I would class it as art and, you know, just normal. Open people's minds a bit more and just have a good day out. That's what it's all about. I will leave all the info I can down below, guys, if you're in Chiang Mai and you want something unusual to do, not just doi su tep and hoi tang tao. Come somewhere like this, this will, you know, brighten you up a bit more and you know a bit different from the usual i'm gonna stop waffling guys and i'm gonna see you in the next one so take it easy man take it easy mm -hmm.